update for you as well as we look live at Tokyo on a Canadian who contracted COVID-19 on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship. Now, he's recovered. He's waiting to come home. And that's a very encouraging turnaround, as you're going to learn from just a few weeks ago when he was told he was close to death. Our Asia correspondent, Sasha Petrasik, has been speaking with him. More than a month ago, a plane load of Canadians left Japan and headed home. They had been quarantined aboard the Diamond Princess and had tested negative for coronavirus. So they were allowed to go. But more than 40 Canadians who tested positive or left behind here in Japan for treatment. One of those was Yatsun Ng. He was taken to hospital shortly before the plane left. He was told that he might not survive. He spent three weeks in intensive care, 45 days in all in a Tokyo hospital. Well, he was discharged this weekend and I spoke to him by a video chat. They're talking about doing CPR on me, uh, see how, uh was he responding to this medication and that medication? And then eventually the doctor told me, oh, he will try his best, but uh, it's really difficult. When doctors believed he might not survive, they quickly brought his wife, Kitty, who was also aboard the ship, to come and see him, perhaps for one last time. She was taken to an adjoining room and could see him on a ventilator through a window. She was beside herself because she'd been told that he might not be surviving. So scary because only me and my husband is in Japan and nobody will help me. But then all of a sudden his condition improved and he gradually got better and better until he was discharged over the weekend. Um, he was actually one of the lucky ones in total Eight people from the ship have died, including one Canadian. And Ng was in a high-risk group. He's in his mid-60s, and he'd had heart problems before. So when he was in the ICU, doctors were extremely worried. Now he and Kitty are here in Tokyo waiting for a flight home. There are several other Canadians who are still in hospital here in Japan. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Tokyo.